Hi, welcome back to Strategic Planet. Today, I'm going to give you an insight into the statistics um, associated with uh, Gephi. Although saying that, uh, what I'm going to present can be used for other forms of social network analysis. Um, to do this, uh, I'm going to use an example and I'm just going to pop out into uh, PowerPoint uh, and start by explaining the concept of um, degree, which is the first area that we will look at. So uh, a degree uh, is, of a node is the number of connections that it has. Um, it is a count ranging from 0 to G minus 1, where G is the total number of nodes within that network. Now, there are two or three types of um, uh, degrees. So there's degree in general, there's inward degree and outward degree. So we'll start with degree, which is essentially an undirected graph. And you'll get to see uh, and understand that in a bit more detail as we go through the example. So for this particular example, uh, I've got a set of nodes, uh, with the ID and, and the label, and they associated edges or connections. Uh, sometimes known as adjacency. Um, and this could um, be things like relations or friends on, on Facebook. Uh, so there's no direction as to where the link is because um, there, there's no idea of who has the power or whether there's a message being sent, etc, uh, etc. Et so I'll jump back out and go back into uh, uh, Gephi now. Uh, and uh, what I'll do is I'll just remind you again of how we get the, the, uh, the data up. So um, go to Data Laboratory, uh, Import Spreadsheet, and then uh, I always uh, import the, uh, the, the nodes first. So I'm going to, uh, sorry, that's the one I want, import the, uh, the, the nodes into uh, Gephi. So you'll get this first um, uh, pop-up box that, that appears. I'm happy with that. You don't have to worry about this, so click on Finish. Now, this is uh, important because uh, there are two elements that you should consider here when this pop-up uh, appears. First is what type of graph it is, whether it's mixed, um, undirected, or directed. As I said earlier on, this is an undirected graph, so I'm going to click on that. And uh, I want to click on Append Workspace. This is not critical for the first uh, time you, you do this um, for the nodes, but um, it, it is quite critical when you're appending on your, um, uh, your edges. But essentially what happens is it makes sure that it uh, sits in this tab here. Now, if I hadn't have clicked that, what would have happened is that I would have got Workspace 2 up here at the top. So that's why I suggest that you click on that. So click on that uh, and the um, uh, information appears as such. Now I'm going to import the edges, so import the spreadsheet uh, and here's the edge file that I want or the CSV file uh, and again the information is correct. Um, ignore that. So here uh, undirected uh, and again append to the existing workspace. Okay so there I now have my nodes and my edges uh, in place. Let's have a look what it looks like. It looks like a bit of a mess to start off with uh, and the tip that I would give you is to um, do a, a layout change. I always start with Force Atlas 2 uh, and then click on it on almost immediately stop because it will continue running as, as you will see. So I click and then stop uh, and what happens is it it puts it into um, a layout which is uh, a little bit more amenable. Now, there were two nodes which uh, weren't connected and they're being pushed out, but uh, I am going to want them um, closer by, so I'm just going to drag them across to uh, the, the, the screen. Now, because they're quite compressed together, what I'm going to do is go on to Expansion uh, and then click on that just to increase the size. OK, I'm happy with that uh, for the moment. Now, if you remember from the uh, last uh, few um, uh, videos that I produced, uh, you can get the labels by clicking on the um, the icon, T icon here at the bottom left hand or the bottom of the uh, the main graph workspace. And what happens is the uh, the labels will appear, but they're quite big. You can reduce them by moving the slider here. 
but it's still not great. So the the, the tip that I uh, would advocate is um, changing the size of the nodes. So click on the nodes and then we want to change the size by clicking on this icon here, which is the uh, change the size of the nodes. Uh, and I always start off with 65, which usually works um, appropriately. Uh, click apply. Uh, and there you'll see uh, a little bit of a mess. Um, so we have to go to expansion again just to uh, increase it out a bit. I'm just going to drag that node in a wee bit. That node in a wee bit. And you can see the, um, the, the, the names on the inside. But when I move off the um, uh, any of the nodes, they disappear. So there you go. You can see, almost see the, no uh, the names rather. Uh, but then they disappear. So what we want to do is make uh, the color of the nodes uh, a little bit lighter. So we click on the, um, the color palette here uh, and I'm going to change it to uh, something light like that. Now if you know the, um, uh, the code you can uh, type it in as well. Um, click apply uh, and, and there you go. Looks much better. But then we've lost the edges. But uh, essentially, the edges uh, you can't. You probably won't see it on your screen. But they are the, the the yellow as well. So I need to go back and just make that a dark color, like so. And and there we have it. So here, I could just increase the size of the edges. So here is the the, the graph that uh, I want. Julie has the, the, the largest number of uh, links uh, and Billy and Belinda uh, have none. So when we click on uh, degree, another pop up uh, will, will appear. I don't usually use this. I don't really find this uh, that uh, useful per se, but um, all you have to do is just close it. Uh, and you'll notice, first of all, that the average uh, is three. Again, that's not particularly useful. Uh, it's more useful to look at the um, the values for each individual item. So we need to go back to the nodes uh, and I'll just bring that across. And you can see the degree for each of uh, the items or each of the nodes uh, appearing here. If you remember, Billy and Belinda was um, uh, uh, zero. I can click on the actual uh, link to change the um, sort uh, and then Julie is the the, the highest. Now I've, I've um, got this in uh, the PowerPoint just so that we can look at the figures and the graph together. So I'll, I'll go back to here and run that again. So there we have uh, the, the graph that we've seen. So we've got, uh, as I said, Julie was the, the, the highest number of nodes. So there's Julie there. She's got six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas Mario uh, has one, one link. Zeng has two, etc. So that is the uh, the way that you calculate the the, the degree. So fairly simple. Now. What we're going to look at now is the in and out degrees and how we work that out. But first of all, I just need to define what the uh, terms actually mean. So the in degree uh, of a node is the number of nodes that are adjacent to it. So in uh, uh, an example with Twitter, it would be your number of followers. The out degree is the number of nodes that are adjacent from it. So uh, again, using Twitter, it would be the number that you follow. So let's go back uh, to uh, Gephi, uh, and I've got uh, the example set up already, so we're not going to go through that, the, the whole process. So in this instance, as you can see, it's uh, the same graph, but uh, this time with direction. So the, um, the graph actually shows, or the network actually shows the directions of the arrows. Um, uh, a good little tip is that if we click on this little icon here to expand the um, uh, options at the bottom and to make sure that we're on the edges, if you click the selection color uh, and then close it, when we hover over, you can see 
the ins and outs come out as a, 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 a different color. Now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, run the um, degree option again. Uh, and this time the average is 1.5. Um, sometimes if the uh, the pop-up HTML report uh, is small, all you have to do is drag it to uh, see what it is on, on the inside. But again, I don't tend to use that, so I'll close it. I tend to focus in on the, uh, the item in the data laboratory. I'll just bring that across. Now, what you see this time round is that you get uh, three outputs. Earlier on, we saw only one output, but this time you got three outputs, which is the in degree, the out degree, and the degree itself, which is the sum of uh, these two, as you can see. So if we go back to the PowerPoint presentation, uh, we can see the uh, output with the graph present. Uh, so I'll just uh, run it. So here, here we have it. Here's the uh, the graph uh, again. Uh, Billy and Belinda, they have no in or out degrees, so no total degrees. Uh, Mario has, where's Mario? Has one in degree and no out degree, so it's got one. Uh, Julia has three ins and three outs. So you can see the one, two, three ins and one, two, three outs. So that is how you work out your um, statistics of the degrees within um, Gephi. Okay, that was degree. Now let's say you wanted to use average weighted degree. If I were to run that, it would be exactly the same as my um, uh, degree. So if we look at the, um, uh, the, the values, uh, we can see that the degree and the average uh, or the weighted degree is exactly the same. Uh, the slight difference here is that this is to uh, or one decimal place. Now, the um, the, the impact uh, is associated with the edge and what we can see is a weight. So what could happen uh, is that uh, within the data that you import, you might uh, have um, uh, a particular uh, edge that uh, you would give a different weighting to. So uh, it could be associated with the importance of the individual sending the message out. So in this case, um, if we go back and have a look at uh, the, the, the diagram, we might say that uh, all the, um, the, the links from Luca need to have uh, an additional weighting of 10 or be increased by a factor of 10. So if I go back to my uh, data laboratory here and if we look at the uh, Luca sources and if I increase that to 10. So what's happened now is that um, everything is weighted as one except for the links through Luca, which has been uh, extended by a factor of 10. So if we go back and have a look at the view, uh, you can see uh, immediately there's a, a weighting there in terms of the, uh, the visual impact. So if we look at the, um, the, the output now, you can see the difference uh, is with Luca with Riza, with Sophia, and with Zeng. Uh, all the others are the same. And the reason for that is uh, um, the, the values got by a factor of 10. So Luke has gone from three to 30, and that's because uh, if we look at the overview, you've got 10, 20, and 30. If I go back and have a look at um, uh, Riza, What's happening is you've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. For Sophia again, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, and then from uh, Zeng, it is 10, 11. So 14 uh, and 11. So, so that's how the weighted degree is calculated in Gephi. 
So I hope you found that useful. Um, as I said, um, in the coming weeks, I'm going to go through each of the uh, particular stats in more detail. Uh, do subscribe if uh, you found this useful and uh, I look forward to uh, speaking to you soon.